more people who really wanted to get involved. And if you're just joining us, Rob G., tell us what happened at Colorado and how a single columnist from the Denver Post uh, was singled out and basically said, you can't do your job here anymore. Forget about us not responding to your questions. You can't even ask questions to our football team, which you know doesn't sit right with Rob Parker, the sports writer. Yeah, that is correct. The uh, Colorado Athletic Department informed the Denver Post today that uh, columnist Sean Keeler will no longer be allowed to ask questions of Deion Sanders or anyone else within the Buffalo's football program due to what they called a, quote, series of sustained personal attacks in Keeler's coverage of the Buffaloes. When asked for specific examples of how he personally attacked Sanders or the program, Colorado cited the use of phrases such as, quote, false prophet, deposition, Dion, planet prime, the Bruce Lee of BS, the Dion Kool-Aid, and generally referring to the program as a, quote, circus. Those are all so tame. Let's get a former athlete's opinion first in Ephraim Salam. And, of course, a guy who's been in the media. Ephraim, how long have you been doing in the media? 25 uh, over, years? Over 25 20? years, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've been around for a long time. A long time. Yep, and, and I will get your take, and, and then I'll just tell you, you know, what I think. And look, and I, I pride myself on being objective, okay? Certain, especially I have teams, right? I'm a Laker fan. Right, but I know that. I'm critical of Lakers. I'm critical of management, of players, all of those things, based on, you know, the reality of it, right? Do I not like some people or something? Of course, but do I allow that to have me lash out at them personally? False prophet, this and that. Like, sometimes I don't agree with how Rob Palenka is putting the team together or Jeannie Buss. But am I, she's a hack, a has-been, daddy's girl. I don't lash out like that, right? I you can't call my, her Jeannie Buss? I, no. I state, I state because I'm a professional. I state my opinion based on the facts. Now, when you start going into false prophet, and the Kool-Aid and all of these things now, but consistently, though, you consistently do it, right? I was very critical of Dion, early success, which turned into no success, right? But why? So you start breaking down the level of talent they had and the level of talent they were going against, right? The turnover in the roster. All, you start putting all those things together, but it doesn't make me hate Dion Sanders and thinks he's an idiot or, you know, making these – claims that he isn't good enough or shouldn't be a coach. No, I, I I don't see it that way, right? Those things that were said about him from one reporter seem like personal attacks. And I, okay. I get it. There is his opinion. But your opinion can be an attack, too. If you've been in a marriage and you've had an argument, you know your opinion can be an attack. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big JTV, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe as we go into this. You know what I mean? The If y'all want to support me, man, beyond the likes. Likes are free, by the way. If y'all want to support me further, man, join the membership. I'm going to be putting exclusive content and early, early access to content on there, man. So y'all tap in. Lowest $2. If you want to help me even more, man, go on to Patreon. $5.00. Over 120 pieces of exclusive content. Rock with me. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Shout out to Ephraim Salam for laying out a good setup. And actually breaking down the fact that a lot of these media guys and columnists take things very, very personal. And they attacked Deion Sanders in a personal way. Specifically the Sean Kaiser individual who... Um, straddle that line between professionalism and deep personal attacks you know what i mean so we got the athlete's point of view right let's hear rob parker's point of view and it might surprise y'all i want to hear what y'all think and get in the comments let me know what y'all think obviously this is owned by iheart media i'm not i'm only gonna put the audio i ain't putting the visuals up man let's go man let you let him know rob parker let's go he is working this is not some guy who's working uh, or so-called so, so, so working, and he's has an internet uh, uh, 
website. No, he's on, a reporter. He's a, team. He's a, full, he's a, yeah, he's he's a, a full blown columnist yep. for the Denver Post, the Denver a Post, reputable paper, newspaper. Big paper, yep. Okay. And if this guy was out of bounds, his newspaper would let him know he's out of bounds. People in the newspaper business have been fired, reprimanded for doing all kinds of stuff. There is a watchdog on this because. The newspaper is liable. It's not like a guy who has a website and he's living in his mom's basement. And you can say whatever, throw whatever you want up against the wall, and nothing can happen to you because you have no assets. Nobody can sue you, Ephraim. But if you own a newspaper, people can come after your assets and your money. So there is a degree of professionalism that he already has to abide by. That's not for Dion. If you want to bring a case against him to the newspaper, I have no issues. And you can cite examples or whatever, and then you could have a meeting and have that conversation. Well, let me ask you a question. Based on that, what you just said, Yep. what if they did and the paper was like, no, nah, we're good? Because, but then, then that says the paper doesn't believe that you're... Okay, so it's, now it's what's not, the, the next step may be, I, we're going to handle it ourselves. No, the next step is... He gets to ask any question he wants because he's a accredited member of the media. And you, Deion Sanders, or anybody else have a right to say no comment or not answer. That's my only issue, Ephraim, is whether or not he has the right to ask the question. You don't have to answer. I've had plenty of players not want to answer. They think I'm too tough. They think I'm mean. Whatever it is, that's fine. You are that mean. doesn't mean I can't. What's that? You are mean. I mean, I'm no, just, I'm, 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 just I'm the nicest guy I'm, going. I'm no, 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 no. no okay. No, cap. No, no. But you, but you oh, get my, what'd you say? She said cap. Mary Mac, what, what, why are you on me? Are you on my head like that? I thought. And yo, I hate to say it, but Rob Parker is 100% right. I don't agree with Rob on a lot of things, but homie is 100% right. And you know what I mean? To be the man, you have to understand that you're gonna get you're gonna get what comes to you, man. If you're gonna dish it out, you have to be able to take it. A lot of people in sports media or the sports industry or the entire football, especially college football, you know what I mean, industry, do not wanna see Coach Prime succeed. And as I've as I've told y'all, as you've seen me cover. The, the first season of Prime, Deion Sanders, and the Colorado Buffs, a lot of people don't like them. They don't like him. They don't want to see a former player with very limited coaching experience make it to the top of college football. They don't want to see the nepotism of him and his sons being on there on the football field and succeeding. They didn't want to like it when Deion Sanders took the number one recruit to an HBCU who had ties, I'm talking about Travis Hunter here, who had ties to FSU, you know what I mean, Florida, uh, uh, Miami Hurricanes, and the Florida Gators, man. They didn't want that to, that player to go to an HBCU. They want to get a, go along to get along like, you know what I mean, Mr. Bust always says, Kwame Brown. So when you have somebody who's a wrench in the system, like Deion Sanders, they will go out of their way to suppress him as much as possible and undermine him. Does he have a unique personality? Yes. Is he a very confident person? Yes. Is he somebody who might offend people or rub people the wrong way? Yes. But guess what? When you're a champion, when you're a winner, when you're a Hall of Fame, when you are an outlier, when you're the 1% of the 1%, that's what's supposed to happen. Do you know how many people hate Tom Brady yeah you listen to one right now I don't like Tom Brady I have said very rude disrespectful things about Brady I'm being real with you but I respect the hell out of him why because he kept on winning he kept on getting dubs he kept on adding rings on his fingers and that's the only way the prime can shut up all the critics and haters let me tell you something man the fat bastard himself Mr. Jason Whitlock is making a career and making money, tons of money, because we're talking about YouTube analytics, YouTube AdSense and money from YouTube, from YouTube monetization, contract with the Blaze, 
and other sponsors to his show. He's making a lot of money pooping on Deion Sanders. A ton of money. Right? And the fact that Deion has never replied to him directly shows that Prime is actually smart and very intelligent. And that is the smart strategy to do. To announce not only to the public, but now to other media platforms that you are banning a specific columnist from speaking about you or to you, actually. It's weak. It signals weak. And it signals a lack of maturity, unfortunately. Right? I'm telling you right now, I have a lot of people who dislike me. You know what I mean? But guess what? They do not exist in my world, F them. I have a lot of people who write really negative comments on my YouTube. Don't reply to them. I ignore them. That's called being grown. And unfortunately, Coach Prime has to, not even unfortunately, Prime has to grow and realize this is what they're supposed to do. You're going to get more hate than love, but guess what? Keep winning. Keep winning, and that's the key. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Rob Parker is surprisingly right. He grilled Coach Prime, and he was right. He was 100% right. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments, man. Big J TV, I'm out.